Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Brendan Fraser as Robot Man, and Guillermo del Toro directing Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Mm. Creepy. Today on Miscast Entertainment. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Head to the chopper! Stand up to my left I'm going to make it an off again. This is my You're going to need a bigger boat. What's up, you miscast miscreants, and welcome to another episode of Miscast Entertainment with your host, the wonderful JJ. I'm here. The fantabulous Deadpool head. And yours truly, William Davis Moore. Together, we have a combined experience of 30 plus years as film critics, film writers, film app creators, film book publishers, and cinematographers. Nice. If you're new to the show, then head on over to our channel and watch some of our past episodes so you can get all caught up. While you're there, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell right next to it so you can get notified of all future episodes. (laughs) Damn it. You know. This is a bad episode, man. You know. This is. It's a bad episode. I think it's not a bad episode. This is just a really good beer. It is. (laughs) It's a really good beer. Uh, Today we're drinking the uh, Barrel of Monks Three Fates Triple. And this shit's pretty strong. Now, it's super smooth. It is. It's uh, very smooth. We've each had two of these. Yeah. But it feels like a six-pack. Yeah. It feels like... What's uh, the alcohol content? It hits heavy duty. Um, And I'm having trouble uh, losing my lips. It is. I'm going to say somewhere around 57% or something. It's strong. I can't can't see it on the bottle here, guys. Oh, it's 9%, you asshole. That's pretty strong. It is. But I can't see that. I'm sorry, because I'm a little buzzed from... You know, uh, uh, wine is... Like what? Eight, seven, or eight percent? No, wine is thirteen percent. Oh, is it? 13%? Yes, wine is thirteen percent. This is pretty damn. Cl- That's why I'm getting so damn buzzed. Yeah, dude, this is serious business. So I guess it's the buzz news, buzz news, ep- buzzed, buzzed news. news. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into this, man. Let's get into it, Let's big time. It. As I take another right, sip. Cheers. Hey, yeah. Boom. <laughs> <Cha-la-la>. <laughs> okay. No shame. No, no shame. shame. Not here at Miss Cast Entertainment, anyway. This is our buzzed episode. Is it? I mean, we've been buzzed before, but this is like our next level <laughs> buzz. This is like yeah. us. Are we borderline like effed up at this point? Pretty freaking close. <laughs> this one's creeping up. Yeah. All right. So the news. Yes. What's going on in the world? Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, that kind of news. I like it. Yeah. So Guardians of the Galaxy has been coming up quite a bit lately. Because of the James Gunn firing. Yes. Which Bullshit. I just want to throw out there to begin with is a bunch of horse dookie. First off, jokes are jokes. Exactly. I think we understand the difference between the stuff that Harvey Weinstein does, which is physically abuse and try to wreck people's careers. That's 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 a physical offense. Correct. An assault that he's that he's that he's doing. Versus jokes. Jokes are just words. They're not. They're not harming anybody. They're not. They're not destroying anybody's life. If you don't particularly like the joke, then you know it's hey, it's not for you. If you are offended right. by the joke, like sometimes you know jokes are, you know, aimed at people with disabilities or you know different nationalities. That's fine. It's just intended to create humor. It's not. Th- there's a huge distinction between wrecking somebody's life. And assaulting them in, in whichever way you decide to do, right. and offending somebody in a joke. What James Gunn was doing was he was attempting humor. Right. Were the jokes a little racy? Sure, but some Definitely. people some people are like that. I saw the tweets. The tweets are funny. I mean, I personally found them funny. Out of context, though, they are fricked up. Like, sure, yes, but that's the type of comedian that he is, right. and there is a market for that kind of humor. Uh, Earlier this week, we talked about um, the Happy Time Murders. Right. We talked about how I thought some of the jokes were just offensive for the sake of being offensive. They weren't witty. I, I didn't find them particularly clever. Um, but, I mean, there's a big market. I mean, a lot of people found that movie to be humorous. But it was super racy. 
Yeah, it was super racy. It had jokes that were yeah. on the same level but, as guns. Yes, but it wasn't it wasn't trying to destroy anybody. Now, this guy who wrecked James Gunn's career, I'm not going to mention his name. I don't think he deserves to be mentioned, you know, uh, to be honest with you. I don't think we should give him any attention. Right. But um, he went out to try to destroy James Gunn's career, and he was very successful at doing that. And I'm going to say shame on Disney for allowing the scumbag to do that because very bravely, um, Dave Bautista, who plays, um, what's his character in Guardians of the Galaxy? Drax. You earthers have hangups. Yes, Drax. I got a penis. Ha! Thank you. Yeah, so Dave Bautista, who plays Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy, came out and he was like, he actually posted this video of uh, this asshole um, boasting about how he destroys other people's careers and he right. doesn't care. He does not care. And the fact that Disney allowed this scumbag to do this to somebody really is, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think shame on Disney for, for allowing this. I, um, I'm going to have to agree with you on everything you just said. Uh, shame on Disney. Next is Brendan Frazier. Great. Remember that guy? He is responsible for a lot of really corny, bad performances. Remember, he was an Encino man that was super corny. Not at the time, though. You're at thinking, the time, you're thinking about it at, as now. At the time, and when Encino came out, I thought that was so stupid. Really? And the Dudley Do Right, that was so yes. corny. Oh, that I mean, was so bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna he that would shit. he would pretty much be the same over the top corny actor, whether it was doing Car- Tarzan which was ra- raised by apes in Africa, <laughs> you know? And Encino Man, which was like um, a caveman. We were talking like 90? It was in the 90s something. I think it was 90. But that was at the point where like Polly Shore was still a little popular, still a little relevant. Um, well, he that was when he was at his peak. The Polly Shore peak? The Polly Shore peak. The Polly Shore peak is a period of time in history that no one likes to remember. Biodome. Yes, nobody wants to remember that time. People liking Polly Shore movies is akin to kind of like when when the Nazis like brainwashed a lot of the Germans, like a lot of like the casual like nor- normal Germans that that were just kind of like just minding their own business, and they heard the Nazis and they were like, "Oh man, maybe it is. Maybe <laughs> this sounds like a good idea." You know what these Nazis are talking about? That's the kind of mentality. <laughs> That's the kind of destructive, evil mentality that we had in like the early 90s where we would watch these characters and all of a sudden, for no reason, we said, oh, you know what? I like this movie. Why? Not because of the qualities of the movie itself, but it was a sort of just the social construct right. that, that, that forced everybody. And if you did not like a Polly Shore movie, then you didn't have a soul, you know? And the same thing is true for Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, to me, is not funny has no talent and the fact you know i used to love adam sandler movies i used to go and see them all the time i used to go see adam sandler movies all the time and now i look at them and i'm like damn dude how the hell was this funny this was never funny little nick fuck little nick <laughs> oh you going all crazy ad on me i'll show you some crazy ad. look at it come on let's get busy we're not talking about those assholes anyway. We're talking about Brendan Fraser. Yeah, so anyways. He did great in the first two mummies. You're going to shit on the first two mummies? I'm not going to shit on the first Thank two mummies. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. The, the, the mummies, <laughs> the mummy movies are actually pretty cool. They're better than anything so far. So the second one was awesome. Not The Rock as a scorpion, although it made me love The Rock. But that was like but the was, worst CGI yeah. <laughs> in movie history. Yes. So, all right, Robot Man. Uh, just real quick, guys. Um, Robot Man is like a cheesy character, but the cool, fun fact about Robot Man is uh, that whole Doom Squad crap, Doom Patrol. That's yeah, what it is. Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol um, that's like the catalyst for the X Men. I mean, Doom Patrol had the guy in the wheelchair that led the team. It was a bunch of like misfit, like um, X Men type mm-hmm. people, like weird people with weird superpowers. Uh, and then, like, four months later, in 1963, they came out with the X-Men. And their whole mantra was the same, but it was DC and Marvel. So That's a lot of bullshit. Doom Doom created X-Men, I wow. think. Wow. Yeah, in 1963. They even had a dude with the wheelchair. Yeah, same thing. They couldn't and do, like, crutches or something just to kind of, like, make it different? 
Uh, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo only, del Toro. Yeah. See, I knew I bastardized that. I'm from Ohio, you bastards. <laughs> Anyways, what you got? Guillermo del Toro. My, he's great. Amazing director. What has he done before? Hellboy 1 and 2. My favorite is 2. Okay. Dude. Um, Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. And he did do King Kong. There's a scene in this movie in King Kong that just like it makes the hairs on my oh, skin yeah. crawl. I understand. Do you know which scene I'm talking about? No. It's the one where they're all getting surrounded by the bugs and the bugs oh, you're are just coming about out of nowhere. Peter Jackson? Is that That's Peter? Peter Jackson? Oh. You motherfucker. You don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> three fates. We are not starting over. That shit's going to be in the episode. <laughs> Why do my screw ups get in the episode and your screw ups get in the Mine are in the episode? Well, I'm not the we very are, first thing in the last you're, episode. You're a I good editor. Up Nobody's going to know because you're going to cut it so cleanly. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Miscast Entertainment News, to be specific. And uh, Shit. welcome to Miscast, another episode of Miscast News. Welcome to another episode of Miscast New- <laughs> no, no, no. News with your host, the wonderful JJ, the Mag Magtabulous, uh, Magtabulous, Mag Magtabulous, uh, Deadpool, and if you're new to the channel, yeah, all right, that was all right. It was pretty good. Yeah, I probably sound like an asshole, but it's all yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, all assholes sound like assholes, but I mean, you're, you're a very likable asshole for an, for an asshole. Thank you. Thank Secret you again very much, monks, <laughs> for derailing our news <laughs> conversation. Next. Um, next. <laughs> so he's doing this. Uh, he's directing Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Right. Have you ever read those books? No. I'm from Ohio. What, got, what kind of reading did they have in Ohio? Goosebumps. <laughs> this was way before Goosebumps. These Harry books. Potter. So it was like three books. And each of these books had like about like 20 short stories in them. Um, they were the illustrations in these in these books were nightmarish. They were like these almost like watercolor, just like black and white illustrations. Very basic, but man, there was something terrifying about these illustrations that really like stuck with me. That even today, after all the horror movies that I've seen and all the different things that I've seen in my life, still like freak me out. And I'm curious to see what he's going to do with um, with these scary stories. Is he going to do like an anthology or he's just going to like, um, I don't know, maybe do some short stories in a, in a movie or just kind of combine all these stories into into one film. But if anybody can do it justice, it's going to be creepy ass Guillermo del Toro. Dude, even his nice shit is creepy as shit. Yeah. And that's what I love about him. So he did like Hellboy <coughs> and his most beloved characters in that movie were amazing. Like, very likable. But if you took them out of context, they would scare the shit out of you. Yeah. Like, if you, like, lit them in a dark room, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yes, his style is amazing. I'm I'm all for it. Yeah. I'm all for it. Hey, you need to see those books. I'm going to... Yeah. If I have a copy, I'll bring you one. All right, so, guys, that was our uh, news shizzle. Maybe next week when Greg is back and not this... Deadpool head. We'll get our shit together. But until then, it's just me and uh, the magnificent. Oh, this is not Greg? No. Damn it. I found your jizz rags, William. Bam, 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 bam. Put it on. Okay. Make sure you check out our links on Teespring. Got the miscast merchandise. <laughs> Make sure you uh, uh, hit hit the subscribe button. And uh, hit the bell because we need we need subscribers. We need all that shit. It's very important to us. <laughs> and follow us. And follow us on on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Like <laughs> us. <laughs> we just want to be loved. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Peace. It smells like jizz rags. Jesus. Now, hey, this is our Buzz Buzz. News episode. (laughs) This is our Buzz News episode. Welcome. Here we go. Welcome, you miscast miscreants, to a Buzz News episode.
<laughs> this is going to be a good one. <laughs>